on my dash cam, I wouldn't have been able to tell the police anything. I didn't see anything. Right now, we're getting a closer look at the moments before a woman was shot while at a stoplight and how police were able to make an arrest. Now, this was all part of an apparent road rage incident. Tonight, CBS 4's Courtney Spinelli spoke with the man whose dash cam captured it all. I'm fortunate it was not worse. On Friday, July 9th, an apparent road rage incident on the city's northeast side ended in a shooting. It's likely the choice of one man to put cameras in his car is the reason anyone was caught. The word got out and we were able to identify the individuals involved with this incident. IMPD said one day after these stills from a rear facing dash camera went viral, they were able to make an arrest. Well, I'm really grateful to whomever it was that helped get this person to get themselves turned in. According to court documents, that person was a family member of the suspect. Documents say she told detectives they saw a picture on the news and the two people in the photos wanted to turn themselves in. The second person has been identified and at this point there's no indication that, that person is um, wanted for any criminal acts. 18 year old Cameron Smith was identified as the alleged shooter. You can see here in new video the moments leading up to the shooting all caught on camera. I heard this noise and then looked at my back windshield shattered. Jeff asked us not to share his last name or show his face but says he quickly drove off and called police. It wasn't until later he learned a passenger in another car was shot. But to really go through and fire a gun over that, it's ridiculous. Police said the suspect opened fire after an apparent road rage incident with another car near Jeff's vehicle. One of those bullets struck a woman and sent another through Jeff's rear window. You've got to understand a gun is a lethal weapon and once you pull that trigger, you don't control where that bullet goes. Jeff says he's grateful he wasn't injured and hopes the woman who was is doing okay. Of course, then at that point, I'm worried about them. You know, are they okay? You know, how are they doing? He even has well wishes for the alleged suspect that he will realize this could have been worse and to use it as a lesson. I just seriously hope he's sorry, you know, and works to better his life. This kind of nonsense has to stop. It has to stop. We can't continue acting like this. We are better than this. All of us are better than this. Reporting on the Northeast Side, Courtney Spinelli, CBS 4 News.